um, you know, permanent fixture in not just volunteers, but inshallah other activities as masjid progresses. Uh, these are the future, this is the future of our masjid, and alhamdulillah, it looks very, very bright. So with that said, you know, of course, um, what is volunteerism? What is that we, you know, um, um, of course, there's no words to go ahead and sp say specifically that any appreciation is all there. But the fact that it is associated with another concept, and that concept is called ithar, altruism. Ithar is when, so there are two words in, in Arabic terminology. One is ihsan, and the other is ithar. Now there are two very close words. Ihsan, I'm sure all of you who have Urdu background, uh, or Persian or Arabic background, you understand the word ihsan means. Ihsan is when you do a favor to someone, and that's, you know, um, you don't expect, for example, anything in return, but of course this person that you have done ihsan to um, is going to go ahead and appreciate what you have done for them. But when you do ihsan, there's a concept of reciprocating. There's a concept of, you know, you expect something that this person will do the same thing in future if something like this happened to you. For example, if I help someone out, tomorrow I'm looking that, you know, if I'm in need, I'm going to go and ask this person because I haven't helped this person out. That's what Ihsan is. Isar is bigger than that. Isar, altruism, is when you do something and you don't expect anything in return. You don't want anything in return. Uh, that's where Quran when talks about in Surah Dahr, uh, chapter 76, also known as Surah Insan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the story of, you know, of course, Ahlul Bayt and their Isaq. What was their Isaq? يُتْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامَ عَلَىٰ غُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا You also fed people for 30 days. So this sort of fits here as well. That Al-Bayt were who? يُتْعِمُونَ الطَّعَامَ عَلَىٰ غُبِّهِ مِسْكِينًا وَيَتِيمًا وَأَسِيرًا Of course, we weren't feeding the miskin and the yatim and asir over here. But nonetheless, we were feeding mu'mineen. That is also a big reward. You're feeding mu'mineen. And what do you want in return, O Ahlul Bayt? لَا نُرِيدُ مِنْكُمْ جَزَاعًا وَلَا شَكُورًا we do not want anything as far as the jaza compensation or even a thank you note from you. This is not expected. This is not intended or this is not this is not the reason we've done this Isa. And that is the biggest way of thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you don't expect anything in return. I think that's the culture that is established, mashallah. And that is the culture that has to be inculcated into the newer generation. So while our volunteers are great, I think the better part is that how they get the younger generation involved in it. You know, of course, as we are aging and we're getting old and there are certain things that are limitations with us, this is where the younger generation comes into play. So what I saw during Ramadan and, uh, you know, outside, inside, here in the banquet, you know, everything running smoothly, that's the dedication. And the reward only lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So a big round of applause first for all of you. And Thank you very much for listening to me. Allah. 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 Allah.